Hi friends, uh, welcome back to VLSI Fab. So this is the first video of 5 minute series uh, where we will take the uh, common doubts from the viewers and uh, please keep on suggesting the topics. We, so without wasting time, uh, let's start with uh, today's topic that is called sanity check. As you can see in the slide, uh, in short, this is only sanity check. So in technical term, sanity check is to ensure that the input received from library team and the synthesis team are correct or not. So if you are not doing uh, these checks, then it creates problem in the later stage of the design. So on which things we will do the required sanity check. So from synthesis team, we will take the netlist and uh, SDC to do the required sanity checks and uh, in the same way from technology vendor we will take the library for that physical library so as throughout the slides uh, we will be discussing logic library and physical library so what is logic library and what is physical library so logic library so for example it is a synopsis liberty file or synopsis liberty that contains timing power noise logic info about the cell and uh, if the cell is complicated enough then this library may not contain logic description and the physical library uh, for example synopsis milky way database that contain real layout uh, topology of the cell and some simplified sometimes abstract uh, or frm view of this topology so check library so it will check uh, if any correlation is missing between the logical library and the physical library so kindly note whatever I have written in the slide as uh, I am not going to discuss in detail. So like in summary uh, that means each, each cell that are described in the netlist whether it has its corresponding physical timing and logical information defined or not it, uh, that will be checked in the check design check library. So check timing. It checks for the possible timing problems in the current design. Then uh, check timing also checks whether all the paths in the design are constrained and consistency prevails between the constraints or not. Then check timing commands report the unconstrained paths. That is the most important thing. And if there are any unconstrained paths in the design, run, run the report timing requirements command to verify that the unconstrained paths are false path or not. Uh, report constraints it reports the following parameters in the current design such as wns total negative slack drc violations etc so the report includes whether the constraints are violated or not and uh, by how much it is violated and the worst violating object so you can check by using the report constraint command and these are the arguments that it have so report qr it reports the statistics or QR of the current design uh, that includes its timing information, cell count, details like combinational and sequential cells, total area of the current design. So this will also report any if any DRVs are present such that max cap, max uh, mm, tran violations are there. Okay. The, the report timing. Uh, this command will generate a report that contains timing information for the current design by default the report timing command reports the single worst setup path for each of the scenarios specified by the modes corners or scenarios option if none of these options are specified the command will uh, report the single worst path over all scenarios of the design few argument i have uh, mentioned uh, kindly go through those check design it checks for certain problems such as unloaded input ports or out undriven output ports net without loads or drivers or with multiple drivers cells or designs without input or outputs then mismatch pin counts between an instance and its reference then tri-state buses with uh, non tri-state drivers such as while loops across the hierarchies and so on so these are the sanity check that we have discussed so kindly can like share and subscribe the channel VLSI fab and we will be discussing uh, in details in our upcoming slides
थैंक यू